Hello class. In this tutorial, we will learn about the what if analysis tool. Under this data tab, you will find this option that is what if analysis and it is consisting three parts, scenario manager, goal seek and data table. So we will be discussing each of these parts in detail in the coming videos. So suppose you are having this question that is imagining that you are a car manufacturer who manufactures 2000 cars per annum at a unit cost of rupees 1 lakh and they he has the following two options that is either to sell them at approved stockist at a unit price of 2 lakh 50000 or to sell them in open market at a unit price of rupees 3 lakhs and fixed cost is now rupees 1 lakh and currently the manufacturer is selling 40% of his production in the open market suppose you are having this question which is given the next question which is coming to your mind is what percentage of units produced by him he should sell in the open market in order to achieve a certain level of profit. So now we are having a target. So first we have to understand how much the actual profit is being earned by the manufacturer and about the target that how much profit the businessman wants to achieve. So for that particular thing, we have to use the goal C function. Now I'll help you in understanding how we can use this. So I'm just simply removing all the cell values right now. Now first step is to enter whatever information is given in your Excel, in your question. And then you have to actually link all the cells in the formula so that excel knows okay what number is coming from which cell and how the function is being used to calculate the answer in which cell so as excel basically should know everything so our first step is to enter the values as much as possible first is total number of cars manufactured so in your question it is given that is 2000 cars are manufactured Percentage of cars sold in open market, it is nothing, 40%. That is given in your question. Now, next step. We have to calculate number of cars sold in open market. Now, we know, okay, 40% of the total production is being sold in the open market. So, we will simply use these cells. That is 40% multiply by this 2000. Now, Excel knows, okay, for calculating the numbers of cars sold in open market, we are using these two cells. After that, stockist. It is nothing. This is basically a remaining number of cars because they have only two options. So whatever number is left after deducting the total number of cars sold in open market. So this is 2000 minus this 800, 1200. Now selling price per unit. It is given that for open market, the selling price is rupees 3 lakhs. And for stockist, it is 2 lakhs 50,000. Cost price per unit is also given. It is 1 lakh rupees. Now, profit per unit. This is nothing. This is basically a subtraction of selling price minus cost. Now, Excel knows that this cell is basically a subtract subtraction of C13 and D13. Now, simply use Control D. Now, fixed cost. Fixed cost is 1 lakh rupees. Okay, now total profit. How we will calculate the total profit? We will use the sum product formula. Because if you understand how we will calculate the profit, this is nothing. This is actually number of cars sold multiplied by profit per unit of both these options and then subtracting the fixed cost at the end. So this is nothing. This is 800 multiplied by 2 lakh plus 1200 multiplied by 1 lakh 50,000. So instead of multiplying them individually, we can directly use the sum product formula, which will also give the same result. And in sum product formula, we'll use which arrays number of cars sold as one array and profit per unit as the next array. So this sum product formula will actually multiply the corresponding items and then sum them up. So after this sum product formula, we'll simply subtract the fixed cost so it will give us the total profit so the actual total profit which is being earned by the manufacturer is 33 crores 99 lakh and our question is what our question is 
what percentage of units produced you should sell in the open market in order to achieve the profit level of 35 crores so in order to start with this question i'll suggest you simply copy this table just do control c and here do control v i'm doing this only to see ki how we can actually calculate the target 35 crores amount by changing the percentage of cars sold in open market so i i'm just creating this table below so that you can compare it with the table we have created earlier so how we can use the function goal seek here because now we have a goal to attain so we'll use goal seek function goal seek now it is asking for set cell set cell is our total profit this is the total profit so we are setting it now it is asking for for two value so value is 35 crores one stands 100,000 10,000 lakh 10 lakh crore and 10 crore that is 35 crores by changing cell now we have to change this cell that is percentage of cars sold in open market because we want to do this only that we want to actually calculate that percentage of cars sold in open market to have a target value of 35 crores so we are setting this value and then want to change this to 35 crores by changing the percentage of cars sold in open market now simply do okay okay now you see everything has gotten changed now if you sell 50 percent of the cars manufactured in the open market you will be able to achieve the 35 crores of profits and every other cell is now have calculated its value on its own that is number of cars sold are now 1002 and number of cars sold in stockist at 998 so this is very simple to understand whenever you have a target in mind and you have to change only one variable you can simply use goal c function thank you